I finally got my cat frequency data to be properly detected by both the Step IR controller and the RF kit amplifier. I'll notice the frequency up there, 7160, 7164, the, the uh, amp reading and cat control, 7164. As I tune around, I'll notice 7187, 7187. And if I change bands, let's go down 60 meters, boom, instantly, 60 meters, 60 meters. The trick was this cable uh, for $16 on eBay, the Blue Max by KJ6ZWL <clears throat> with the FTDI chip. This cable plugged it in, worked instantly. I, I thought I had a whole pile of cables in, in, that I tried here to, to get the cat working in, or the cat data working to the amplifier, and nothing worked. So um, I'm super happy about that. And I just used the standard DB9Y, <clears throat> the Y off the back of the radio. And since the step air controller only looks, it's receive only, it only, it only receives the data. The, um, the amplifier, however, needs full uh, handshake. <clears throat> so it, uh, it requires a full handshake because it's running a little uh, Linux uh, kernel on a Raspberry Pi and uses the uh, USB uh, interface to adapt to DARS 232. And I have <clears throat> the radio setting, just in case anybody's interested, uh, right here, uh, just at 4800, uh, 10 millisecond timeout. And that's uh, on the amplifier, you just set the same thing. So menu, interface, first uh, interface, or for, default operational interface cat and under cat <clears throat> uh, Yesu FTDX 101D and 4800 bit rate and if you hit test you'll see shows the frequency and then same setup on the <clears throat> yeah step by our controller the your transceiver setup um, FT I, now the the radio that the uh, this doesn't have the FTDX 101 or uh, 101D or MP, so uh, the radio type I have is set for FTDX uh, 9000D, again, 4800 in and out. Um, and uh, that did the trick, so I'm super happy about that. Um, really glad that uh, that works. Again, we'll, we'll change bands. We'll go to 20 meters. Hit 20 meters. We're on 20 meters. 20 meters. And the antenna is currently tuning to 20 meters.